Ja Morant, one of the league's most entertaining stars and one of the biggest names in basketball. Many know him for his high-flying dunks, highlight plays, and being the franchise player for the Memphis Grizzlies. But just six years before he was drafted, Morant played JV basketball and could barely dunk while not being near anywhere close to a Division I scholarship. So exactly how did he beat the odds and get to where he is today? Without keeping the intro too long, in this video, we'll be talking about Ja Morant's journey to the NBA and what he had to endure every step of the way. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. It would help me so much in continuing to grow this channel. So with that being said, let's dive straight into the video. John Moran's story is a testament to his determination, perseverance, and undeniable talent. Born in Dalesville, South Carolina, a small town with only 2,000 people, he was raised by his mom and dad, T and Jamie Morant. Ja's journey to becoming an NBA superstar was filled with challenges and moments of doubt. However, with the unwavering support of his family and his relentless work ethic, Morant overcame the odds to secure a spot in the prestigious basketball league. And what makes this whole story even crazier is the fact that one little moment involving a bag of chips changed the whole trajectory of his basketball career. Ever since a ball was put into Ja's hands, he instantly fell in love. He would run around the house dribbling everywhere. John Morant's basketball journey began when he approached his father, T. Morant, asking him if he could work him out. Prior to having Ja, T had dreams of making it to the NBA. He won a high school state championship alongside Ray Allen, later committing to play at a Division II Clapham University. Although he didn't quite reach those dreams, he put all his passion for basketball into his son. And in 2009, when Ja was just 10 years old, T Morant built a full basketball court in their backyard for them to train in. From then on, every day, they would work on different skills in his backyard, and occasionally, Ja would get on Facebook to promote basketball games in his backyard, where 50 to 60 people would come over and just play. Despite facing older opponents, Ja fearlessly took on the challenge, displaying his confidence from a young age. As a freshman, Morant didn't suit up for the varsity team and played JV. He stood at just 5'7 and lacked athleticism and elite skill that most top players in the country had. And when looking at the rest of his peers, he was way behind the trajectory. It didn't look anywhere near like he was going to play college basketball. With T. Morant realizing this, he took actions into his own hands and started to take Ja's athleticism to the next level, training him with tractor tires. During Ja's workouts, after every drill, he would jump on the tractor tire in his backyard 30 times. T claims that after his bounce got crazy. Attending Crestwood High School in Sumter, South Carolina, Ja quickly established himself as a rising star. Growing from 5 foot 9 to 6 feet in his first three years of high school, he became the school's all-time leading scorer and earned multiple accolades including all-state and all-region MVP honors. Additionally, Ja played on the AAU circuit with the South Carolina Hornets where he was teammates with future NBA star Zion Williamson. Despite his impressive high school performances, Ja Morant was overlooked by every college in America. His under-recruitment had to do with scouts believing he was too skinny, undersized, and didn't play with high basketball IQ. Things got so bad for Morant that he and his dad started to worry heavily because no college at any division was showing him any type of interest, and he was about to enter his senior year of high school. The summer going into his senior year, Ja attended a two-day camp that was ran by Chandler Parsons AAU program hoping to gain some interest and exposure from low major colleges. As it was time to select the top players in the camp to move on and play in a game where there would be no shortage of exposure, John Morant's name wasn't called, and he left the gym to go and shoot around in the backup gym. As more players started to come, Morant and those players played a three-on-three. -three. Outside the gym, James Kane, who was the former assistant coach at Murray State University, a low major Division I school, was directed to a concession stand to buy some Doritos and soda. He heard the balls bouncing in a gym next door and took a peek in for a few minutes. As he watched, Morant's game stood out immediately with his quickness, high-flying jumping ability, and playmaking skills. From there, he called the head coach of Murray State immediately, Mac McAhone, and after he flew down to check Morant out, they extended a scholarship out to him. This surprised Morant's family so much that his mom even asked Kane if the scholarship was for four years. Kane's response was, it's a four-year scholarship, but he's only going to be there for two years. What seemed to be almost impossible, Kane saw the vision and NBA potential Morant had before he even suited up on the college floor. It didn't take long for the Morants to fall in love with the school, and on September 2nd, 2016, John ja Morant committed to Murray State University. Ja's freshman year at Murray State is when he got a chance to make an immediate impact at the college level. Morant put up multiple eye-opening performances, which started on November 10th, 2017, where Morant made his debut for Murray State, contributing 7 points, a team-high 11 assists, and a 118-61 victory against Brasesia University of the NAIA Conference. He put up his first double-double on December 12th, 2017, with 10 points, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists, and a 69-55 loss against St. Louis. Morant's first triple-double came on December 28th, as he recorded 11 points, 10 rebounds, and 14 assists in an 80-52 win over Eastern Illinois. 
This triple-double was the second in school history and set a new record for the most assists in a CFSB center game. He also had the third highest number of assists in a single game by Murray State player ever. On February 1st, 2018, Morant scored a season-high 23 points against Southeast Missouri State. With an average of 12.7 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 6.3 assists per game, he earned first-team All-OVC honors and was named to the OVC All-Newcomer team. Morant's 6.3 assists per game ranked 14th nationally among freshmen. Additionally, Morant became became the seventh freshman in the past 25 years to achieve 150 assists, 150 rebounds, and 10 blocks while shooting at least 42% from the field. Morant then led Murray State to secure an OVC championship and secure a spot in the NCAA tournament, where they defeated Belmont 68-51 with Morant contributing 15 points, 5 assists, and 5 rebounds. However, Murray State lost their opening round game to West Virginia by a score of 85 to 68, despite Morant's 14 points. This marked the beginning of his national recognition. Cha made an immediate impact, recording double doubles and even a triple double in his debut season. Although Murray State fell short in the tournament, John Morant started to put his name out in the air, but was still not viewed as an NBA prospect just yet. NBA scouts didn't have too many eyes on Morant heading into sophomore year, but Morant ascended as he showcased his exceptional skills in high-profile games. Notably, he delivered a phenomenal performance, scoring 38 points against Alabama, solidifying his status as a top NBA draft prospect. Throughout the season, Morant shattered records and received numerous accolades, including being named OVC Player of the Year and earning All-American recognition. His remarkable athleticism, court vision, and scoring ability garnered attention from NBA scouts. As Morant's sophomore season unfolded in 2018, he began to attract the interest of scouts. He had the honor of being one of 20 players invited to Chris Paul's elite guard camp, which further highlighted his talent. Taking on a lead role for Murray State after the departure of key players, Morant made an immediate impact. In his season debut, he recorded an impressive 26 points and 11 assists, propelling his team to a 74-53 victory against Wright State. Morant continued to excel, achieving multiple triple-doubles, including a standout performance of 29 points, 13 rebounds, and 12 assists in a win over Missouri State. Notably, he scored a season-high 38 points against Alabama, further establishing his prowess. By December 2018, Morant had become a widely projected as a top 5 selection in the upcoming NBA draft, with some even speculating him as a potential second overall pick. Throughout the season, he accumulated numerous accolades, broke records, and showcased his unique skill. At the end of the regular season, Morant received prestigious honors including being named the OVC Player of the Year and earning first team All-OVC recognition. His exceptional performance also led him to receive first team All-American honors from the United States Basketball Writers Association and second team All-American honors from Sporting News. Morant's dominance continued in the OVC tournament, where he delivered crucial plays, including a game-winning three-point play and a stellar performance in the tournament final, leading Murray State to a victory and earning the tournament MVP title. In the first round of the NCAA tournament, Morant achieved an impressive triple-double, becoming only the eighth player in tournament history to do so. Despite a second-round loss to Florida, Morant left an incredible mark, setting school records for career assists and single-season points. Following Murray State's exit from the NCAA tournament, Morant made the decision to forego his remaining college eligibility and declare for the 2019 NBA Draft, capitalizing on his incredible sophomore season and solidifying his path to the professional league as a projected top two pick. Armed with his incredible skills and an undeniable potential, he was prepared to make a name for himself at the professional level. Despite the doubts that still lingered, Ja remained focused on proving his worth in the NBA, and in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies selected him with the second overall pick. John Morant's journey from a relatively unknown player to an NBA phenom showcases the power of perseverance and dedication. Overcoming doubts and obstacles, he harnessed his talent and transformed it into one of the most exciting players in college basketball. With his sights set on the NBA, John embarked on a journey that is arguably the greatest journey to the NBA we've ever heard of. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Comment on what you guys think about John Morant's journey to the NBA. Was it the craziest one that ever happened, or anything related to this topic? Also, let me know if you like these videos where I break down NBA players' journey to the NBA. If so, who should I do next? Let's get a great basketball conversation started. I hope to see you guys on the next video and have a blessed day. Peace.